I think we're living in a very exciting time in oncology, whether you're a medical oncologist, surgeon, radiation oncologist, radiologist, or pathologist, our ability to better understand cancer has really transformed our ability to best take care of patients. And it's become increasingly crucial in the care of these patients to make the molecular diagnosis for a patient that may be a candidate for targeted therapy. Comprehensive genomic profiling is key for many of the clinical trials that are currently underway in oncology that are based on a precision medicine approach. However, we're not even able to offer those therapies if we don't make the correct diagnosis to begin with. And that's where CGP, I think, plays a key role in my practice and for my patients. One of the major benefits for comprehensive testing is the ability to take a single small piece of tissue and get all the necessary testing done on that piece of tissue. And so the ability to utilize CGP not only to be tissue saving, but also time saving for patients who are really interested and motivated to get started on the therapies is key in the care for our cancer patients. This is crucially important for our patients because many of our patients, for example, with metastatic non-small cell lung cancer, this will actually be their first therapy. And so the ability to test for all the NCCN recommended biomarkers and get the patient on appropriate targeted therapy from a very small biopsy is crucial not only in making the pathologic diagnosis of non-small cell lung cancer for our patients, but the molecular diagnosis as well so our cancer patients can receive their best therapy. Many cancers have a molecular Achilles heel that we can now target. For example, in non-small cell lung cancer, colon cancer, melanoma, thyroid cancer, and increasingly, we're starting to find in some pediatric cancers, rare fusion events that we can actually target with pills that can help patients stay off chemotherapy for years and years, potentially with a very high quality of life and good control of their cancer. And then the other aspect that's a particular interest in oncology is whether we can actually make a diagnosis of cancer earlier using comprehensive genomic profiling and detect these mutations in blood before they present as an overt mass in cancer. And so whether it involves taking a patient with known cancer with localized disease or potentially discovering cancer at a molecular level even before it's detected by imaging, I think these are some of the areas in which we're gonna to start to see CGP start to be utilized over the coming years. We have a lot more work to do for our cancer patients, absolutely. But to think we went from sequencing one person's genome in a decade for a billion dollars uh, to be able to do it for an individual patient in clinic, um, sometimes in 24 hours, uh, that, that can be done um, with the, the right setup, is just a remarkable change in our ability to understand our enemy, which is cancer.